Okay, I tell you what. If I pass up that way, then I'll be happy to deliver stuff for you. But it has to be on my time scale because this is a Bethesda game. And when you have urgent quests that you have to get done because it's a life-threatening situation and if you don't get it done the next 10 minutes, the world's going to come to end, you can actually just hold off on that and do it like, you know, three weeks later. Welcome back, everybody, to Capital Punishment. I am the Bearded OG, and we're picking up right where we left off uh, in episode two. So, yeah, we are. Uh, we just got to Megaton in the, the last episode, and we talked to the sheriff. And uh, now we are going to continue looking for our father. That is uh, what we're doing here. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh, were you just kidding about disarming that thing? Uh, no, no. I wasn't. <laughs> it's going to happen, just maybe not right this second. Um, what do you want? to trade, stranger? Check out Craterside Supply. Okay, will do. Food. Let the men, women, if you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. And behold, okay. The power she's, of different. she's different. She's different. Okay. Dwell here in his Jenny. Land now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? Pretty much. We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Um, uh, I, 65 caps? Holy shit. What's on the menu? Here, take a look. Okay. Oh, she's got meds. That's good to know. How many how many caps do we have? We don't have any caps. <laughs> um, we could. Does she? Yeah. See, all her food has rads too. Okay. Um. Squirrel stew. Two rads. Insta mash. Nuka, oh shit, Nuka Cola gives uh, eight rats. Have to keep that in mind. The well, the quantum does anyway. And also reduces sleep and water, which is to be expected. After burner gum, this gives plus seven rats, but speed and HP. Let I don't think we'll be taking that. So let's sell that to her. This. Completely removes our sleep. It gives us a shit ton of rats. Gives us a lot of water too and a bunch of um, action points. See, we could use a rat away to counter the rad uh, rats. I don't even see. I thought I loaded a rat away. Maybe not. Um, the the dog meat. I think we can cook at a campfire. But since we already have some cooked food already. Oh, that's spoiled. Well, it's still, it still would help us though. Yeah, let's let's sell that because it's spoiled, and that's spoiled. Mutt fruit gives us water and food, and we'll, you know we'll keep the MRE of course. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna. Too. So that's 19 caps. Um, she's oh gee, she's charging 44 just for stim packs. Okay, we're just gonna sell. Dirty water, untreated. That gives five rats, but it's 50 thirst. We still have three purified water though. You know what? In fact, we need to look at our our stats. Um, crunchy mutt fruit, Lamco. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Attend now to the words Exit. of the Enjoy. of Adam. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about Some Megaton? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. But what the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. Okay, uh, what's the word around town? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? 
Okay. Um, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Oh, man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? <laughs> well, something like that. Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. Yeah, you seem like a decent person. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. Okay. All right, thank you. Remember us if you need something. Will do. Come All right. forth she, and she was a nice lady. The of the glow, for this ancient weapon of war is our is this, salvation. Uh, it is the very symbol of Adam. Can we go in here? I think so. Okay, so this is like an indoor place to sit down too. Uh, excuse me, sir. Seriously, get the fuck out of the way. All right. How you doing? You don't want to talk to me? Always yeah. good to see a new face. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's talk to Leo Stahl. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's in charge around here? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. Okay. Um, what do you have on the menu? Is it the same menu as before? Ant nog. Uh, water food. Plus one strength, but we lose two intellect. Okay. Yeah, so he does have a different menu, but his prices are the same. Steamed Mirelurk. That only gives one rad. It's only two caps. Um, okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind if we get desperate. Uh, let's see. What do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Okay, you don't have to be rude. Um, what can you tell me about Megaton? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Okay, fair enough. Um, what's the word around town? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. Sounds like you might have some secrets too, pal. Um, okay. No problem, buddy. I'm looking for my father. You seen him? Middle-aged guy. Your father? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. All right. See you, s See you later, Leo. Let it serve as a reminder of the division that... Hi, Hi. Maggie. Hi, Maggie. I live with Billy. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything. But he takes care of me now. Okay. Anyway, I should go. Bye. Goodbye. Um, hey, have you seen my dad? Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Okay. Cool. Uh, who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. Oh, Mr. Jericho. Okay. I usually play with Harden most days. When his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Okay. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Probably a good skill to learn in the wasteland, I would say. Uh, how'd you meet Billy? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A long, long time ago, he saved me from raiders. Well, good for him. They kill my real parents. Oh. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Cool. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. Um, you know, any, uh, words from around town? <laughs> I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Manya? Okay, great, thank you. Goodbye. Bye, mister. Okay, take care of yourself, kid. In the it shall be washed okay. away in Atom's glow. 
Um, you are full of shit, dude. <coughs> Each of us sorry. shall give now. birth to no, no. a you listen to that guy's blabbing? What? From the mass of our wretched no, and go away. Uh, okay, I will. Each of us shall be mother and father. Uh, all right, so let's see here. What's this place? Each of us shall know Mr. Burke's house. All right, we well, probably better not go in there. Um, let's go up this way. Oh, you know what we should be doing, actually? While we're here, we should, uh, have our speech. And let's actually remove that, too, so we don't have the things around the, uh, around the edge of the monitor. Alright, so let's just go up this way. And this is a common house. What does that mean exactly? Just anybody can sleep in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? We need to sleep because... That guy's sleeping. We need to sleep because uh, we have a level. And uh, what time is it? It's 5.30 in the evening. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. We can take this stuff? Okay, I guess so. Coffee mugs. That's used for crafting. All right. It's going to let us take it. How are we doing on 62 of 225? Right. Okay. We're doing okay for weight for now. Antiseptic. Nuka Cola bottle. 22 long rifle rounds. A metro ticket and some skizzers. Let's go up here. And all that stuff. Nice. Glad I didn't buy any food from that restaurant. <laughs> There's food free for the taking up here. Metal pot, some noodles. Squirrel stew, cram. Butter knife. Nothing. Fancy lad snacks. Some whiskey. Bunch of tin cans. I guess we should pick up everything that we can potentially sell. Like that plate, for example. You feel like line... Yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? I actually have... Um, a setting that lets me sleep in chairs, too, so I don't have to necessarily be in a bed. Just FYI. None of that stuff is lootable. Alright, what's up here? Just another sleeping area. Well, you know, um... We can sell Scorched books. Why not, eh? Why would we ever want to pay for a room at Moriarty's if we can just come here and sleep? You know what I mean? Maybe maybe you can't just sleep here in the vanilla game. I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I played. Oh, somebody's sleeping in here. Okay. We'll take the 10 millimeter rounds, though. It's, it's not stealing because it wasn't red. <laughs> uh, did we come? Yeah, we came, already came back this way. Okay. Let's go back down. And we'll come back here to sleep uh, in a little bit. It's a little bit early to be sleeping yet, I think. Um, you know what we ought to do, actually? Let's go to... Let's see if we can find that general store and see if we can sell some of this stuff. I think the store, though, is down by the crater because it's crater side. Oh, that's the back door to Moriarty's. All right.
the men's restroom. Yeah. Was... Oh, you're one of the stalls. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Okay, Andy Stall that's in the stalls. Um, you know, okay, what, what can you tell me about Megaton? What's the word around town? Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. In the bathroom? Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. <laughs> okay. Um, what can you tell me about Megaton? It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. Okay, fair enough. Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. Then you just said it wasn't so bad because you made money here. If it weren't for you wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. Okay. Um. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? You know, you're not as nice as your brother and sister. I'm just saying. Um, weapons dealer? Go see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Okay, so Craterside for that and the clinic. You'll want to see Doc Church next to the crater. Next to the crater. Take your time. Okay. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. <laughs> yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. All right. See Whatever. You, I need to get... Okay, get back to work. Don't watch me. I gotta go to the bathroom. You're not watching, are you? Dude, get the fuck out of here. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, maybe he's gotta go to the bathroom. Then maybe I should leave. <laughs> Box of detergent. Okay. I think we need that to make something. Let's grab a plunger. Or yeah. two. Activate the toilet? Oh, shit! I didn't mean to do that! God damn it! Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to flush. Oh, no. What What did that do to us? Mutant parasites. Less 20% aid in healing and 20% AP regain. Oh, we did not need that to happen. Fuck. Oh. I thought the toilet would just flush, you know? It shouldn't say activate, it should say drink from. That sucks. Okay. Ooh, now it is getting dark out here. It's 8 o'clock. I wonder, does that shit go away if we sleep it off? That's owned by somebody. Hell of a day, isn't it? Oh, you're Billy Creel. Hoo-wee! Look at you. Now, I haven't seen one of those vault jumpsuits in, wow, a long time. Pretty damn good condition, too. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. Sounds good. Uh, you do have a necklace of human teeth on your chest, just in case you didn't know that. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Yeah, I don't know about in this day and age. Um, what's the word around town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? I don't know. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Okay. What about the area outside? All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't going to talk about it. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. 
Goodbye. Later, Gator. Seems like a decent fella. Don't even think of breaking into that. What? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't break anything. Okay. Um. I'm really pissed that I got myself sick from drinking from the damn toilet. Hi, Walter. Uh, huh? Yeah. What is it? Um. What can I do to help around here? What can you tell me? What do you do? What's the word around town? Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Oh, what do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Okay, I saw those. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. How many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Okay. Um, how do I, what do I use to fix them with exactly? And, and why can't you do it? I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. Okay. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night. And I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. Good point. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well... I don't know what would happen. Okay, uh, what do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. That you old kind of already said hunk that. keeps us in clean water. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all <laughs> slowly. How's that for a piece of information? Yeah, it probably is with radiation, huh? Uh, what did you need me to do? No, I know what he wants me to do. He wants me to fix the pipes. Well, back to work. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, but I guess maybe it'll become um, obvious. Oh, here's the water processing plant. Okay. Any chance we can get some clean water in here? Open water purifier requires key. Open clean water collector requires key. Alright, no, we're not going to steal anything. That's his bedroom. Okay, so water purifier plant, yeah. And Walter, we met Walter. Hi, Walter. I'll see you later. Well, I suppose we should probably go sleep. Um, it sucks though that we got sick. I want to see if we can sell a couple things first though. To uh, uh, I guess her name's Moira. At Craterside Supply, there's a leak right there. Activate pipe joint. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a good plumber to fix it. Repair of 30 or higher... Re oh! Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to do anything about that for now. Um, is this crater side supply? No, that's the clip. Oh, maybe this guy can help us with this sickness. Doc Church. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one... Don't bother me. <laughs> okay. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. All right, Doc, but I got parasites from drinking from a toilet. And don't ask me why I drink from the toilet. That's too hard to explain. Follow my rule. I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Roger that. Okay. Um, I need... Okay, uh, I'm hurt. Wait. Which one do I choose? I need something to help me concentrate. Okay, that's drugs. I don't think we're irradiated, or maybe we are now. Need to buy medical supplies. Okay, let's see what he says when I do this. Well, you're standing fine, but you could use some switching up. That'll be 50 caps. What does that mean, though? Does that mean... 
he's going to heal the parasites or heal like just physical damage. You kidding me? Uh, dude, I'm not kidding you. Um, all right. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used. Okay, so let's see if we can. 10% improved healing. Stops bleeding. HP. Splint whiskey. Um, I think I'm going to sell him these new Coca-Colas just because... I might keep the quantum. That's spoiled. That's spoiled. That's spoiled. Okay, anything that's spoiled, I'm going to sell. Which is damn near all of that stuff. All right. Um, now... I need to know how to fix anti-venom. Cures animal poison. You got a radix. Oh, that's radiation resistance. Okay. Medex. Oh, he's got purified water. That's good to know. Untreated is five rads. Okay, let's just um, accept that. Is that it? I need something to help me concentrate. Great. Another junkie. In case you haven't noticed. So you've got someone in town with a drug habit? I, a place like this is probably crawling with junkies, huh? Ha, huh, figures a shithole like this would have a local chem hit. No, I'm, I need real medicine to fix a real medical problem. <laughs> um, so you've got someone in town with a drug habit? I'm afraid that goes against patient doctor. Well... Fair enough. Okay. He's not going to go for either one of these. I'm a doctor myself. Yeah, right. Um, it's not giving me any other options. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Never mind. Right. Um, we already looked at that. What can you tell me about Megaton? I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. Okay. Um, sure can. Hundred caps. And easy. Only Shit. one hundred. No thanks. If that's the way you want. Uh, what do you do around here? I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. That's what I chose on the goat exam. Also, what hap What if it's parasited? <laughs> um, what do you know about the people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers. He doesn't. Okay. Never mind right. then. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Um. Well, we got 49 caps out of the deal. And there's probably nothing we can take in here without stealing, which we don't want to do. Uh Oh, this is where all the sick people are. Okay, sorry. Let's go this way. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. So okay, so we where's we crater side supply? The pain and hardships of this I think world. we went up that way. Yay, your suffering shall exist no longer. Maybe it's uh, it up this way. It might be too late for us to actually go. Armory, clinic, restaurant. They have an armory here. Door to the children of Adam. I think that's the church of that nut job down there. Armory. Okay. No, we can't get in there. That's Moriarty's. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go back to that Commons house and just sleep. Maybe that's all we need to do to get rid of the parasites, but I'm kind of thinking probably not. But we need to sleep and we need to level up. And this bed is as dirty as any other. Okay, let's see. How long do we want to sleep? Let's sleep until, say, uh, 7.30 a.m. That's, well, shit, that's 10 hours. We don't need that much sleep. Let's go 6.30 a.m. 
The man in the checkered suit taunts you. You ready your weapon, ready to end him, but stop yourself just short and awake in a, awake in a cold sweat. You wonder, have you always been so vengeful? Yeah, we know who the man in the checkered suit is. We'll be dealing with him later. All right, we got a level. Welcome to level two. Look at us and our bad selves. All right, we need uh, we need to put some points into repair, not only to do that quest, but also so we can actually repair stuff. Uh, we have eight points to spend. So I think what we'll do is let's get that up to 15. Let's get guns up a point. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to get barter up a bit. Survival unarmed. We have three points left. Yeah, let's get barter up to 10. We need explosives to disarm the bomb. Uh, medicine. Yeah, let's put the last point in medicine, I think. Okay, continue. Okay, now we can choose one perk. Huh, all right, so, a stranger I remain. You don't belong here. The fewer factions that know of you, the higher your sneak bonus. Okay. That would kind of suck, though, because towards the end of the game, your sneak would get worse and worse. Hmm, okay. Your experience with leverage and fulcrums, with a little attention to the finer details. You've gained plus 10 carry weight. Oh, that doesn't suck. Okay, we'll keep that one in mind. In combat, you do 10% damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Okay. Since a very large percentage of the enemies in this game are human, probably confirmed bachelor and lady killer, which is the same thing but for women, would be good to get at some point. I don't know if I want to get those right at the moment, though. The puny creatures of the wasteland can hardly scratch you. You suffer 50% less limb damage when being attacked by an insect or an animal, and you deal 50% more damage than with your bare fists. Okay, uh, just like Daryl Dad, you've devoted your time to intellectual pursuits with each rank. Hacking gets easier, and Kim's last 10% longer. Desperation is your strongest motivator in combat. When you have any level of starvation, you gain 20% damage and 3 endurance. Hmm... An incentive to stay hungry. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Gun Knight. You're uh, you're obsessed with using and maintaining a wide variety of conventional firearms. With each rank of Gun Nut perk, when using a gun, spread is reduced by 10% and item condition is increased by 10%. I like that one. Indirect bartering. You're not actually threatening any violence, but anybody with a pair of eyes can tell that you could if you chose to. If you choose to. You gain plus one barter and speech for each point of strength while your karma is evil or very evil. Yeah, that won't work very well with this. Intense training, you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. Lady Killer, Little Ligger, with uh, damage with bats, non-combatant. You gain eight damage threshold and 15% damage resistance when your weapon is holstered in combat. Hmm, that would be good for somebody that's primarily a melee build. Quick pockets. 20% equip speed and 40% attack speed. Retention. Uh, the bonus is granted by skill magazines last three times as long. Strong swimmer. Swim fast in water, I guess. Swift learner. With each rank in the swift learner perk, you gain an additional 10% to a total experience points, whatever experience points are earned. Ah, uh, useful early on, but not later. When you suffer any degree of dehydration, you gain a two, uh, plus two charisma and... Ten, minus 10% reduction of buying prices. That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, these aren't available to us because they're higher levels. All right, I think I'm going to go with Gun Nut. There we go. Okay, so we're rested up, leveled up, gun nutted up, and are we still, do we still have parasites? Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Okay. I'll take that glass pitcher. I just want to pick up some of this shit and go sell it. Make some more caps, you know? Uh, oh, excuse me, sir. Are uh, you guys you guys all sleep during the day? I guess you do. Not any of my business. Okay, let's go find... Oops, excuse me, sir. 
Uh, let's go find Moira's crater side supply. All right, that's Mr. Burke's house. That's the brass lantern. What's this? Uh, that's the clinic. And that's the Church of Adam. Where the hell's Crater Side Supply? You want something? Uh, yeah, I want Crater Side Supply. Uh. Behold! I hope you let me buy a house he here is coming with the clouds, and every shut eye that guy shall up. be blind with his glory. Can you help me? <coughs> okay. Sorry, not now. Here, let's. Okay, here we go. Supplies, this way. Okay. Clinic. Oh, I'll bet you it's up here. Wait, is it? It's pointing that direction. But what's that place up there? We can ask Sheriff Saloon Clinic Commons. That's the sheriff's house. Supplies. Hmm. All right, why am I having such a damn hard time finding the crater side supply? Oh, here we go. Okay. So it's just to the right of this glowing globe thingy. Just for future reference. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you it's too early in the morning. That's probably why it's locked. Right. Okay. All that stuff is, uh, we can take all this. I guess the other thing we could do is go back to our, there's another leaky pipe. Oh, now it's open. Okay. Are you Moira? I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Hey, we got a workbench. Nice. And a re... Oh, nice. Reloading bench. Um... Breakdown... See, I don't know if I want to do that yet because we might find, uh, you know, need this ammo. Get the small pistol primer. Pistol powder, lead in cases. Okay, let's hold off on that. We can change, uh, turn all of these into normal thingies. I guess that's all we can do for now. All right, where's Moira at? can't steal any of this stuff while that dude's there. Oh, is that? Oh, there she is. Okay. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Why do you have a mask on? Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Gotcha. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the forward by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure. Um, sure, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Okay. <coughs> it was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting until Dad left. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault. Bow before me. How do you feel? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped dark and the food sucked. Uh. Well, um. I. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is probably the way I feel about it. That's terrible. Yeah. But it'll be great for a forward. So in that sense, it's great. Great. 
I think you're gonna like it out here. And here's the armored suit. Just to make sure you don't get recycled into something else's food. Here's the armored suit? What do you mean? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. If you're going to pay me, sure. Well, what do you want me to do, though? Oh, she... She gave me an armored jumpsuit. Okay. I wonder if there is some dialogue missing here, because I... I think she tells me she's going to give me that if I do the forward. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Pay. What sort of pay and what sort of work? Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff. You know? <laughs> well, yeah, we can probably do all that. But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions if you do a good job. Interested? Sure. Um, sounds good. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Sure. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Except for your Nobody's assistant. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. Nope. No, then they just yell a lot at me. With mean, mean words. Mm, not nice. Uh, sounds like you're ready to I can't wait to help. Okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guide. Tell me about the pay. Well, she kind of already did. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass. Hell no, crazy girl. I won't be here. Um, can you tell me m a little more about the pay? Oh, uh, caps, chems, meds, and maybe even a few unique inventions. If you do a good job. Unique inventions. I'm sure I've got something that'll catch your eye. Okay. With a little ingenuity, you can turn a pile of junk into a mountain of caps. And there's no shortage of junk. So, will you help out? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, sounds, sounds like a good idea. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Okay. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Okay. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? What's this about radiation? Let's hear about the landmines. Um, what's this about radiation? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. Do you want me to capture a feral ghoul or something? So I need you to get a bit of radiation. You want me to do it? <laughs> so I can study its effects. <laughs> oh, well, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. Okay, I'll get it ready and just be ready to fix me up. You want me to get ready? How could that possibly be worth it for me? Uh... Well, I mean, it's going to happen anyway, so okay. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. <laughs> now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Damn, okay. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's talk about radiation. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> oh, am I already irradiated enough? Contract. I don't think I'm irradiated that much. You realize how ridiculous this is? Um, I realize a lot of things, but this isn't one of them because it's a real scientific necessity and, and, and not ridiculous at all. Okay. What I mean is, I need this research, and you're probably going to get irradiated That's true. out there anyway. I probably will. So, why not come back here and help me too? Okay, that sounds reasonable. Have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that be a real blow to those nice folks in the church <laughs> okay uh, besides it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone live and let live right um i don't know how does your work and re and uh i can't 
Oh, hold on. Can I ask you about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing. I'm an open book. Why can't you do it yourself? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the waste that you I do. I just came from a if vault, I lady. I half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> at least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravan. Okay. It's really good of you to try and help people like this. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? <laughs> and between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. Um, I don't know. Those caravans do help a lot of people. Well, I guess they do bring important supplies here and there. But still, I can help out so much more than the boring old stuff they do. Writing this book will make a huge difference. Oh, it probably me. will help. Okay, do you sell any specialty items? Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. So do I, as a matter of fact. I sell all the components, too, so you can make the weapon yourself. Okay. Don't worry about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, <laughs> you name it. Okay, the junk gun. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Okay. Um, can you, uh, yeah, what do you have for sale? Sure thing. Okay, here's where we're going to sell a bunch of this crap that we have. Um, this we we want to uh, well actually do we want to put this on this gives us 12 damage resistance resistance and 8 damage threshold oh yeah it's definitely better than this so we could actually sell this to her that gives us plus 2 melee weapons and plus 2 guns that gives us plus 5 guns and energy weapons I think that's better. Okay. The Robco is repair. We want to keep that. And we want to keep this for speech. She can have the Metro ticket. She can't have anything that's used for crafting. But all of this crap will, sp will sell her. Oh. Nope. Give me those back. I picked up a spork. All right, so um, maybe I should also sell her um, this Merc Charmer outfit. If I could repair it first, though, we'd get more money for it. So let's accept this. She does have some 10 millimeter rounds. Oh, she's got lots of ammunition. Look at that. Energy cells. Mintats. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I wonder what the... I wonder what the little recycle symbol above the top of that means. Those fire 308s and those fire 556s. Okay, well, we don't, uh, an arc welder, that's funny. We don't have enough um, money for that yet, but it's good to keep in mind. Laser pistol focus optics, that must be like a, a mod. Oh, those are casings, right, okay. Let's exit. Don't hurt yourself. Uh, for now, um, if I did have you repair you my equipment for me? how much would it cost me that would cost 23 caps she has a, a repair scale of 44 I don't know uh, I don't know what it would be worth after we repaired it it might not be worth it to have her do that okay all right, goodbye, Moira. Remember, 
I'll buy whatever you're selling. Ooh, there's some kind of weird audio pop going there on, on there. Okay, now if I go to apparel, yeah, see, I can't repair this. It's either because I don't have um, the skill or I don't have something that I can use to repair it. So I think because, you know, just because of the weight and all of that, I think I'm just going to sell it as is. We're only going to get eight caps for it, but I wished I knew what it would be worth if I had her repair it first. Oh, feeling a bit. Um. Not even for. Okay, let's. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Sure. Uh, I think I'm just gonna sell it, because. I have a feeling like if I pay her 44 caps to repair it, it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna get that money back. Yeah, so let's just do it. Okay. That might have been a mistake. I don't know. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, goodbye. Have fun out there. All right, how much radiation do I currently have? So let's go to stats and effects. Uh, okay, so does, does this mean I have... Yeah, I have 15 rats at the moment. I believe that's what that means. Right here. Okay. Um, so I guess that's all we can do with her. So now let's go to Moriarty's and start working on the main quest here. Drink with me and pray. Glorious Atom, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to you all. We were just up here, weren't we? It's been a long time since I've played this game, so I don't know my way around really well. <laughs> That's where we got to get to. We're not going to go in the women's restroom. Billy Creel's house. I think this is Moriarty's here. Here we go. Ah, uh, come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. I Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. Okay, um... What's the story with that ghoul? So what's it take to hire you? Hire? Oh, she she's, I think she's a lady of the night. I never, I've never talked to her before, so why is this grayed out? I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's... All right, we need to find someone named Manya. Okay, so, um, I'm looking for my dad. Yeah, I remember that man. Oh, you do? I saw him talking to Moriarty. Hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm. Okay. Enough of the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Look, if you can give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Why would he do that? Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Okay. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Um, what were you saying about radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C., but the signal went down a while ago. Okay. Um, what's the story with that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Where'd he come from? He don't talk about it much, 
But apparently, there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. Hmm. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. Okay. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. 15 years, wow. Um, why is Mori, yeah, why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Okay. Um, that's none of my business. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. baby. What did you have on your mind? Um, how much does a room cost? Well, Holy for shit. you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps. No thanks, I'll sleep in a common house. Okay. Um, didn't we just already ask her about you this? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Um, okay. Thank you for uh, your time, Nova. Take care of yourself, hon. Okay. I won't go... Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, I need to know where my dad is. Um. Oh, stop it. Oh. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Why the hell would I do that? I hadn't planned on it. Well, now. That's a surprise. Look at that, fame. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's not that's not nice. <laughs> I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Sounds good to me. Hey, we've gained karma. I'm looking for my dad. You seen him? Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Okay. Um, if you know any anyone else that can help, I'd appreciate it. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him. Okay. Um... Okay, so where is this Moriarty? Who do we have here? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke. Hello, Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. And makes you a rather valuable individual. It does? Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. It, it does? <laughs> Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. Mm, not necessarily. I represent certain interests who view this town, this... Make a ton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. Really? I mean, it's like the only town in the whole place. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. I would care. There's people here that'll pay me money and it's a place to sleep. Uh, you're a sick man, Burke. This conversation's over. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Let's see if we can find out more information about what it what his devious plans are. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the Me? fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. Yeah, I heard so. All it needs is a little motivation. This sounds dark. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. What? 
Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. You're going to have to leave now. Um, a thousand caps. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I'm going to try and disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Okay. All right, say I decide to help you. What's in it? Too many lies or a stake, Burke. I'm going to defuse that bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite oh, disagreeable. Well, then he can talk to my gun in his face. Uh, you're out of your mind, Burke. There's no way I'm helping you. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. You're an asshole. Okay. Yeah, we don't like that guy. Um, in fact, maybe we should go... It's not that kind of bar, stranger. What? What What the hell are you talking about? What kind of bar? What's up here? Oh, can't go in there. Oh, these are probably the rooms that you can rent out. Okay. Um, all right, where's Moriarty at? I don't know. I don't know where he's at. Is he in here? He, I don't know where he's at. He must be off doing something else this time of day, I guess. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we ought to... Oh, there he is. Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face. But I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. What's that mean? I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon. All right, I just came from there. But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. <laughs> twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. You think, huh? All right. Um, Let's start with the general stuff first. What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but... Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Okay. Don't know who the hell Lucy West is, but maybe we'll run into her. What do you... Uh, what do you... He already told us what he did, but let's ask anyways. I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about Megaton? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Okay, um, what about the area outside of town? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Uh, what's this about the Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Okay. Um, look for my dad. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, so you know me, huh? Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Um, okay, so at this point, I still, th do I know now that I wasn't born in the vault? Oh, I do know that because remember we got the me the message in our pit boy. Um, so I believe him. Okay. I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid. So I'm going to be, your dad was here and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. No, oh, I gotta pay for it, okay. Let's say a hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. Um I don't have a hundred caps. Alright, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me. 
All right, well, he turned out to be not so helpful. Well, okay, I think we should probably go let Sheriff Sims know what Burke is planning, because that's pretty devious. Oh, you're new. Ah, look at this! New blood! <laughs> he said I'm new, too. Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. I heard they have a radio station. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot, and any patriot worth his salt is going to toss his gun in for the Enclave. Okay. Any day now, they're going to roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Nathan, why do you also have human teeth on your, uh, on your garment there? It's kind of creeping me out now. Um, if you've never seen the Enclave, how can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. Oh. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. Okay. They got flying robots all around. Yeah, I saw one of them. Watching everything so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean the... You'll you, see. You mean they're spying on People us? People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave... Um... Okay, who are these guys anyways? They're the American government. The Eagle. People, comma, we the. The more perfect <laughs> union. Uh, why do you support them? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days. Yeah, I'd but say. But you're still on American soil. Okay. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. Okay. And it's your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Um, you're right. My country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. Unthinking and unquestioning support? Are you kidding? It's the duty of a citizen to question his government. Can possibly care less about governments or presidents. You know, honestly, considering the state of the world, I think this is actually my answer. Well, we can't all care. Besides, why should we have to? That's what the government is here for, to take care of that stuff. Sure, okay. Um, goodbye. You're weird. Take care. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see here. Uh, we need to find Sheriff Sims. Am I still... I'll bet you this, this fucking, um, where is it at? Stats. This thing's never going to go away, is it? I, I'm sure there's some kind of medicine that will heal that. Oh, we just have to figure out what it is. Water processing plant. Okay. Let's go around this way. There's Sheriff Sims. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry hide. Well, actually, I got some news for you. I met a man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Yep. Oh, I never did like the look of him. He does look kind of shady, doesn't he? What if he asked someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Oh, it's on. Okay. Here, I want to. I want this gun. Wait for me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I want. I want the armored and this on. Where are you? Oh, he's going this way. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think we went the, ro <laughs> the long way around. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff... What are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. 
Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Nova, can you, uh, come here for a second? I'm placing you under arrest, yeah, Burke. At least doing? until I figure out what the now, hell's going on around here. Before, but I'm, gonna ask I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige you a request, Sheriff. I have pressing Sheriff, matters to attend to. We talked about this. Now, Colander step won't be aside. Customers outside of this isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle draggers always insist on I doing things know, the hard way? We might get out of here someday. Very well, Sheriff. I got plenty of money. Lead the way. Could take care of you. Sorry, hun. I'm a lifer here. Just go. Oh shit! You've made a grievous error in judgment. Watch your back. Did you just shoot the sheriff? Drink it. And here I thought I was going to have a boy. Holy shit, he killed the sheriff! Well, I guess he doesn't <laughs> need this stuff anymore. Jesus. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Uh Colin, listen. Oh my god, look at that stuff. Okay. Does the pampered princess seek an audience with her king? Are you I'm tired. I think I'm gonna knock off early. I know you won't mind. Our Heavenly Father put you on this earth to test me, is that it? Dear Lord, save me from the whinings of thine whore who doth complaineth! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Colin. I can always count on you for sympathy and respect. It's why you love me, Nova dear. My dad told me about how you're going to disarm the bomb. He gave me some stuff for you when you get it done. Oh, okay, except for this is kind of bad timing, but okay. Um... What do you think of Megaton? I don't know. I used to like it, but ever since Dad, I don't know. Uh, Dad just kind of passed away like 60 seconds ago, dude. I'm sorry, too. I didn't know that guy was going to shoot him in the back, but at least I got revenge for your dad. Uh, who takes care of you now? Well, with my dad gone, I don't really know. Dad always said that I'd have to learn to watch out for myself one day. Oh, man, poor kid. Um... Okay, well, maybe go talk to that, uh, I don't remember his name, but the guy that takes care of the girl, maybe he'll help you too. Sorry, man. It sucks. Sorry. Yep. Nova love. Oh, man. A word. That's his kid. Yeah, Colin. A Nova. traveler, eh? You're a beautiful girl. Everyone knows that. But Jesus, put a smile on. If you can't be happy, at least look the part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Colin, all right. Just lay off already, please? Fine. But if we have this conversation again, I'll be forced to turn off the charm. I hear you, all right? Loud and clear. I'll make Daddy proud. Guy's an asshole. All right, hey, we were supposed to talk to this lady. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? <laughs> yep. Sure am. Stopped in to find something to do. None of your business? Maybe. Who wants to know? No, let's not be rude. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. Uh, yeah. I mean an actual job. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Maybe. Um, yeah, I need more details. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I try. I need you to deliver a message to my family. <clears throat> they live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. Settlement northwest of here. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, <clears throat> I could really use your help. Um, the job usually means I get paid, so, yeah. Actually, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. So this is not a guaranteed. <laughs> um, if okay, I tell you what. If I pass up that way, then I'll be happy to deliver stuff for you. But it has to be on my time scale because this is a Bethesda game, and when you have urgent quests that you have to get done because it's a life-threatening situation, and if you don't get it done in the next ten minutes, the world's going to come to end. You can actually just hold off on that and do it like you know, three weeks later. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. Arafu. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. Okay. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. 
He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. I hope so. Uh, can you give me more information about Arafu? Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and Blood all. Blood ties. Uh, where is Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. Hmm. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Okay. It's on an overpass. Do you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Okay. Uh, who else lives in Arafu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Okay. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely <laughs> okay. safe. Okay, gotcha. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Okay. Let me ask you something else. Okay. Um, goodbye. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Okay. Um, so, we need to... Is somebody going to clean up these bodies? <laughs> um, hopefully somebody will clean them up. Hey, Jericho. Oh, look. Another one of your this pampered vault face assholes. face is all messed up. Look here, vault asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You're not very friendly. Um, what's the word around town? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Maybe that's why his face is red. Um. No, I'm not. Your call, I'm not kid. gonna give you any money, asshole. What do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Oh, so you're like his henchman, huh? Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle. So everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids. They're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> um, what do you know about the wasteland? None of your fucking bit. Gotcha. Okay. Um, whatever your problem is, I suggest you get over it now. Well, now, that's something I didn't expect. You're scrappy for a little vault twerp, aren't you? Yep. Maybe I had you wrong, kid. You're okay. Now, what did you want to know? Uh, first of all, why is your face so damn red, and why do you got white? I, I think there's something going on with <laughs> the graphics, uh, the textures. Anyway, um, what do you know about the wasteland? I've said just about all I'm going. You said you were gonna help me, asshole. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then, but I've put all that behind me. Yeah, now you're nice and sweet. You ever considered getting back out there? What? Back out where? Out there in the waste, man. You must be bored of tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, killing, stealing sounds fun, doesn't it? Uh, no, you're right. That sounds terrible. Nah. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. You ever cons uh, okay, we already asked him that. All right. Well, goodbye, Jericho. Whatever you say, kid. I think... Yeah, his face is messed up. <laughs> One of my mods is probably not working quite right. All right, you guys. I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um, so, let's see here. We, uh, let, before we do that, though, uh, we got some gear here. Um, and actually, you know what I'm going to do is let's go back to Crater Side Supply... Uh, which is over here. You're making a move, huh? And kind of get, uh, we'll take a look and see, you know, what we got. We got some guns and some other gear and sell what we don't need. And then we will, that'll set us up good for the next uh, episode. Okay, so let's just kind of stand over here so we don't accidentally steal something we didn't mean to. And we'll take a look. All right, so we've got... The Sheriff's Duster. That gives us Charisma and Guns plus 5. But it doesn't give us um, as much damage reduction. That gives us 5 speech. 
So this would actually be better to have for when we're talking to people. Which means we could probably just get rid of the Vault 101 jumpsuit then. Plus it's in really good condition, so we'll get some money for it. Uh, we want to keep the Robco suit for repairing. The Armored Vault jumpsuit gives us 12 damage resistance and 8 damage threshold. So that's still our best armor. So we're going to keep that. So I think we'll sh uh, sell the Sheriff's Duster. I mean, guns plus 5 is nice, but we already have guns plus 5 with this and energy weapons on top of that. So we're going to sell this. Uh, we're going to keep this for speech purposes. <clears throat> uh, both of these hats give us perception. Um, this one is... In, uh, this one's in a little bit better condition. And these don't do anything for us. These tortoise shell glasses. Okay. And then... So we picked up a silenced... Oh, a silenced 10 millimeter pistol. That's nice. Okay, that's going to really come in handy. And then a Chinese assault rifle. Chinese rifle short barrel. Chinese assault rifle forged receiver. Oh, okay. So those are, oh, that's what that, I think that means. It means it has a mod on it. The little yellow thing up above it. So I would say, see that does 40 DPS. That does 37. I think we should probably just get rid of the 32. And then we can break the ammo down for parts. Um, but I want to keep these, and we might we might go ahead and have uh, pay Moira to do some repairing for us, since I apparently can't repair any of this stuff. All right, let's talk to her. How is the field research going? Um, I'm not 600 rads yet. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to sell the Sheriff's Duster. And we're going to sell the Vault 101 jumpsuit. And the Sheriff's Hat. I mean, I think I'm going to sell the pre-war hat. And keep the sheriff's hat because it's cooler. Uh, these don't do us any good at all, so we're gonna sell those. And I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna sell the 32 pistol. And that's all we have to sell. Okay, so let's accept that. That gets us, <clears throat> excuse me, up to 87 caps. Um, I'm just wondering if. Well, that's a bonus critical chance, too. Nice. We should probably... Well... Good hunting. Good luck with that re... Okay. I want to see... Uh, see, why can't I repair this? It, it's... It's a, a grayed out. This has a... Quite a bit of mods on it, though. Um, all right, I think we're just going to have to have pay to have her do our repairs for us. And what I might end How's up doing out there in the is sure thing. just to make a little bit of extra money in order to actually do this, I think I'm going to sell my normal 10 millimeter. Since we have this one now. This one only does three less damage than the other, but it's it's silenced. Um, okay. Yeah. So let's do that. And then... We'll accept that. And then what we're going to do Don't hurt yourself. is... Can you repair my Unless equipment? It's a steaming pile of slag. I'd say yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before we do this... Have. Can I? Do I have to be at a workbench to repair? Is that what the deal is? No, this just gives me breakdown options. 
it's kind of cool that it shows you the skill requirements. Um, okay, let's let's just break this stuff down. So that way we can maybe make our own ammunition. BBs. Oh wait, no, I don't want to make BBs. 10 millimeter ammo. Oh, we need large pistol primers for that. Okay, so we'll have to we'll have to wait on that. Crafty. Oh, we just got an achievement. Okay. Um, let's talk to Moira What's again. Up? Anything in okay, can you repair my equipment? I want this repaired. It's going to cost me 46 caps, but I think it's going to be worth it. All right. Now, um, we can't afford to repair those things. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put this on first for repairing. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to repair the hockey mask too. So let's do that. And maybe the tire iron. Okay. This is the one that gives us perception. Okay. Let me see what you have what for you sale. Need? So I've got 31 10 millimeter rounds and five hollow point rounds. 5.56 five, for the Chinese thingy. You know, I'm going to sell this nitrogen stuff. I just don't, I don't know what the hell we need it for. And it's just taking up weight. Okay, good. Accept. Good hunting. Good luck with that. All right, so for the next episode, um, let's take a look at our quest. So we've got blood ties. Speak to... Wait wait a minute, we already... Why does it say speak to Colin Moriarty about that? We already did. Disarm the... Clean up the garage... All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Moriarty again. Maybe I missed something. I got my. Is anybody gonna clean up these dead bodies? Where's Moriarty at? Is he upstairs? Hmm. Alright, well, he's obviously not here. Oh, uh, you know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to, um... I haven't even checked our hunger and all that sort of th stuff. Let's look at that really quickly. If we go to stats, um... Yeah, our water's pretty low. Our food's not too bad. Oh, no, we actually want that to be lower. Right. Okay, so let's go to... Back to item, and let's go to aid and food. How about if we eat some noodles... And some mutt fruit. Sleeps really good. Did the, wait a minute? Did those move? Okay, that's at two seventy-five. I'm just gonna eat all of those. Yeah, now it's down to one twenty-five. Okay. And f okay, so why don't we? That 
that's 200 less foot. Okay, let's hang on to the MRE. But I think with that, we need to cook this, but I do want to cook it because we have, I think we have the skill to do that. Point your eye somewhere else. Man, you've got a serious sunburn on your face. Okay, um... So yeah, we're in pretty good shape now in terms of our water, food, and sleep. Um, but we've, you know, we've got this, uh, these parasites. So I'm going to have to figure out how in the hell to get rid of that. Our limbs are in good shape. So I mean, I think overall we're in reasonably good shape. I'm just, again, re really irritated that <laughs> I drank from that damn toilet because uh, I didn't mean to. Oh. You know what? There's one other thing I want to do before we wrap things up. Um, here. Pick that stuff up again. Let's see if we can get into Burke's place. Since he's dead now. Uh, no, we're not going to go into Lucy's house. We stay true until the day of division. Until the dawn I wonder, though, if we... Oh, no, that's the clinic. Where's... I think this was his house over here. Okay, so I've got the key. If I if I use the key, do I is it still considered a crime? And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Okay, we're hidden. Let's go. Nobody saw us. Unlock the house. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a shotgun. Okay. The thing is is Uh, there's a Kniffy in there. I don't want to steal a lot of stuff because that'll screw up our karma, which is important for our stats. But if it's a machine gun, we're going to steal it because that's what you do when you find a machine gun. Even though you have good karma, you steal it. We're taking that. Okay, and we're going to take the shotgun. And we're going to take any ammunition we find. Earnings clipboard. Rumble movie disc. I think we're going to take that stuff too. There's another pre-war hat, but I don't think we'll take that. Okay. Well, that was um, that was worth coming into. Hopefully, it didn't hurt our karma too bad. But let's look at these weapons real quick. So, a cleaner's submachine gun, 152 DPS, and it uses 10 millimeter ammo. Uh, so that's quite a bit better than the Chinese assault rifle. And we've got a a short barreled 12 gauge but we don't have any rounds for it. What we could do is go back to Moira and maybe sell this assault rifle to buy some shotgun shells. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah, this is nice, man. SMG, baby. Um, <clears throat> we'd have to be really careful with this, though, because it would burn through our ammo really fast. So because of that, I think we're going to hang on to it, but I'm also going to keep the Chinese assault rifle for, for the time being. I just wish I could repair it, but I can't. So, um, cool. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. And uh, what we'll do in the next episode is we will, I mean, I, we're pretty much done in Megaton for the time being. We've got a couple quests here. Uh, it it does seem to suggest though that we need to talk still need to talk to Moriarty like we're missing something. So we'll see if we can find him later and and you know give that another attempt. And then I guess we go out and just start doing stuff. We need to get irradiated so we can do Mo, you know Moira's quest, and then go from there. 
So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye. To gather and behold the